women as well as consolidating the voice of the men. It's true the allegations that my principal and party leader is supporting Azimio, but we have not discussed that as a party. We have not agreed and neither have I been consulted. But let me say this, if push comes to shove and we need to take a stand on who to support out of the other three presidential candidates who are our worthy opponents, Professor George Wajakoya is running message as Tina Wamae is in trouble and has been summoned by the Roots Party for a disciplinary action. Wamae has been directed to present herself at the party's head office on August 26 at 2.30 p.m. Following her recent utterances both in social media and mainstream media, in a letter signed by Roots Party legal director Washika Washira, Wamae has been accused of failing to adhere to the party's constitution and manifest Festo, Washira noticed that her remarks are against the spirit and stand of Roots Party, adding that she has continuously and maliciously represented the opposition of the party and subjecting it into ridicule and disrepute. The legal director, Father warned Wamai again is speaking on behalf of the party, failure to which legal action will be taken against her. He said, we have instructions from the party leader to demand which we hereby that you cease and desist from speaking, uttering or purporting to speak on behalf of the roots part of Kenya, the notice read. These are the five things that have landed Justina Wamai in trouble. First, social media and mainstream media utterances. Wamai's remarks that Wajakoya was backing Raila Odinga's presidential bid weeks ago is one of the great things that have landed her in trouble with the Roots Party. Additionally, her congratulatory message to William Ruto and Rigathi Gashagwa for winning general elections and claiming that her boss was headed to court just hours before his summon came. They said and I quote, as it is, we haven't had a meeting because my boss, he said that he is going to court. I spoke to him on phone and told him it wasn't viable given that he wouldn't organize ourselves in terms of agents mobilization. You cannot leave your gates open and still cry full that your stuff has been stolen. So we are still thinking in these lines, she told the media earlier. Secondly. Failing to read the party's constitution and communication guidelines, the summon reveals that Wamai has been a member of Roots Party for less than two months, but she has not bothered to read the party's constitution and communication guidelines. Three, the Roots Party is also accusing Wamai of continually disassociating herself from the party and its ideologies. You have in your utterances contradicted yourself on Citizen Digital and KTN and recounted the contradiction hence your allegiance to the party manifesto is questionable, where she also stated. Also, she has associated herself with the opposition and embraced the ideologies. In her congratulatory message to Ruth and Gashagwa, Wamai said that she will support them in any way she can to ensure that Kenya achieves financial stability and dignity across the club. Finally, during campaigns, the party leader had to accommodate her and provide her with means of transport. And when the party wrote a letter to her asking her to report to the office, she denied publicly, terming it as petty. Wamai went ahead to tell Wajakoya to take back his accommodation, including the car she was offered during the campaign. Jasina Wamai rebuked Wajakoya after he summoned her for allegedly disobeying the Roots Party constitution. Wajakoya had also accused Wamai of supporting their competitors. For instance, when she congratulated a president who elect William Samoei Ruto, she dismissed Wajakoya's claim that he offered accommodation and a vehicle, asking him to take them back. We are waiting for Wajakoya to speak about the response. Things seem to be taking another front in the Roots Party. We hope to continue updating you on the same as they unfold. For now, keep subscribing.